Hi guys, I'm going to show you a quick package that I got in yesterday. I only have two items but I'm mainly making this video as well to have a bit of a rant. Yeah, but hopefully it won't be a very long video. So I got two items and I waited quite a while for them and like the whole process let's say not so much on the shipping part but like the process of it but um i got a bts hip hop monster and i got v i got taehyung's one and i also got shiny's season's greetings which yes you know we're in march and i'm just getting my season's greetings <laughs> but yeah so the story with this um you know, this is my first actual season's greetings, like official calendar that I'm getting since I've ever been in K-pop. Um, I've always kind of preferred fan site good calendars as opposed to the official ones because I just feel like for the money that you're spending, the fan site ones, you're getting like a lot of little extras with it. And as well as it being like specific to your bias usually, unless it's going to be like a group or a, a pairing kind of fan site. But this one, oh my god, when I saw the photos, the shoot is absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, SM as well, I think, since the 2015 calendar, they've started adding in like a bit more content. You know, you get like um, a DVD, like a short DVD, uh, you get photo cards now sometimes and I think this one has like some sort of photo book slash diary in it. So yeah, and I even think the box is really pretty, like it's nothing special, it's really like basic but I think it's really pretty. So I knew I wanted this and I decided to get myself a hip hop monster and I got these one because to be honest, I wouldn't buy two. They are quite expensive. Um, but I ended up choosing these because I just think that his um, <clears throat> monster character is really cute. With his big ears. And yeah. So I ordered these from K-Pop Town. It was not my first choice. I was originally going to buy from K-Town for you. But the season's greetings was out of stock. And that kind of had to make me go do some extra research. But um, K-pop time was actually the, sh the the cheapest. I just about said the shittest. What the fuck? <laughs> but they, they were the cheapest to, to buy these. Um, and I knew it was going to be a bit of a wait. I ordered round about the 12th or the 13th of January. But for the Hip Hop Monster... It was like a pre-order, so they were getting the stock in on the 10th of February. So I kind of already knew it's going to be like three or four weeks wait. And yeah, so I was just like, oh, okay, that's fine, it'll pass. So I guess to like round about that time, and I think it was round about the 15th or 16th, and that the order still hadn't been shipped out, but I decided just to leave it a couple more days. Um, and then I think around about like the 18th of February, I grew a bit concerned, like why, why hasn't my stuff been sent out? So I got in touch with K-pop Town and I asked them what was going on and that I'd ordered it quite a while back <clears throat> and I, I expected it, that it would have been shipped by now. And they said that they were waiting on the, the stock of the Hip Hop Monsters and I was a bit confused because I'm sure... I saw other people saying that theirs got sent out. <clears throat> so I just kind of queried about that because I think like they did get stock in on the 10th but then they used that up and had to wait on more. But um, I wasn't really too happy about that. I mean already I'd waited like a long time for it to be like to wait for the pre-order and fair enough that was my own choice. That's fine but when we were like approaching 10 days or so after that pre-order 
is supposed to be in. I just think that's a bit... Mm. So I wasn't very happy with them and I told them that I was possibly thinking about cancelling it if stock was going... Because I think they said to me it was going to be in stock on the 29th and I was like, uh, no, I'm not, no, I'm not going to wait that much longer. In that case, I'll cancel my order and I'll go and get it from somewhere else at this point. Like, I was just really, no, I was done waiting. And then they sent me a message and said, oh, no, okay, we can ship it out after the weekend. Um, That's fine, like, we can ship it out after the weekend. We'll have stock in then, which is weird. One minute you say you, you can't ship it out until, like, the 29th and the next minute you're saying you can ship it out after the weekend. Then... I think I'd said to them, please, can you try and ship it out by tomorrow? And if you don't ship it out by tomorrow, I would like to cancel it. And what they proceeded to do is ignore that email. They didn't send it out. And then on the Monday, they shipped it out without getting in contact with me, asking if I wanted to cancel it or not. They just shipped out anyway, which... I was really pissed off about <laughs> but <sighs> K-pop town has never been my favourite place to shop from but I mean I think this just kind of proves it their, their customer service like the contact that they have with the customers is mm, not an enjoyable experience for myself um, but apart from that I mean it arrived here within good time. It was about 10 days, I think, it took to get here. And it was packaged pretty well. It came in this big, huge box, and there was lots of those, these little guys, which are just, like, plastered all over my desk in various places. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, okay. And, yeah, so it did come, like... Personally, I would have liked a bit more bubble wrap, but I think that's just been a bit pernickety I am like that the more bubble wrap the better but um yeah I'll probably not be back to K-pop town again unless it is a very dire situation in which they have something they're like the only place that have whatever I want in stock because yeah I'm just really not impressed which leads me to saying that I am thinking about making a video on the K-pop websites that I've used and what I think of them and the kind of service I've experienced from them. So yeah, I might do that um, when I have time, but... Okay, let's just look at these things. I'm really happy to finally have them, so I'll just do the hip-hop monster first. Ah, uh, my BTS bag fell. But, um, yeah, so... When they did, like, the first hip-hop monsters, <laughs> back in 2014 oh my god 2014 oh. um i kind of laughed at that and i thought it was stupid but but then i saw how cute they were and their little jackets and oh i wish i had one of the first ones because i think even just from the photos online you could tell that they are a much higher quality than what these will be and I guess that kind of makes sense because the first batch they're like very limited amounts whereas this is like being produced in masses I would guess but um yeah I'll just open it up And yeah, I probably won't keep him in the box. I'll be the type of person that he'll be lying around in my bed. This little thing. So this is his hip hop monster. It's like a lot um more stuffed than I thought. I thought it would have been like a bit more soft, like a like a teddy bear, you know. But ah, it's like years. And he's got this little hip hop jersey on this is V on the back it makes them look so fat and it's so cute but the material is really soft I like that 
Um, the material for the shirt is strange. I don't like. I don't like the feel of it. But eh, my little hip hop monster. And then we have my shiny seasons greetings. I'm so excited to finally have this. In March, I have some a calendar to put up. Wow. So yeah, I'll just give you a quick browse to open it from this side. Yeah. This is some sort of text at the bottom. Does it tell you what it's got in it? No, it's just like copyrights and stuff. Here we have the calendar. Is it a diary? Scheduler. Okay, so similar. And um, it's like got minty sides. Or should I say pearlescent aqua blue? That's so pretty. And then what is this? Photo book? Yeah, okay. Oh wow, okay. I thought that the photo book was in the scheduler like it was all together and finally the photo cards so I'll just open everything and just give you a quick browse where shall we start from the photo cards it's packaged similar to their the same cards They're so pretty on the backs. Ugh. Like this colour, I absolutely love it. What's this? This is just like a random January card. They seem like a lot better quality than last year's ones. They're a lot thicker. So that's a January one. Group. You're gorgeous. You know, I, I almost won a signed copy of that card on Baye, but I got outbid by like the littlest amount. I was so mad. So mad at myself. Why didn't I bid more? <sighs> My gorgeous boys, look at them. Yeah, as I said, absolutely in love with this. Why is this falling? Absolutely in love with this shoot. Is this? Yeah, it is the photo book. I was really confused as to why it had lines in it. I thought I'd opened the scheduler by accident, but... Yeah, I'm really confused as to why they have put lines in the photo book. Um, just checking because I thought that it might be have been like a case of that they had perforated edges and you could pull them out like postcards, but no. Sorry, I had a moment. And oh no, oh my god. My face. I love how I said this video was going to be short and we're already approaching 15 minutes. And this is the scheduler. It's just like a regular scheduler really. 
but it's really prettily colored with the shiny color and some really nice pictures in the front so beautiful oh, I'm so happy to have this so happy The calendar is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. It's like A4 sized, I think. I thought it would have been like the same size as my Jonghyun one. Ooh, stickers. Trying to look for what month? Okay, it's January. It's like written really, really tiny over there. Key, keys on my birthday month. Oh my god, this picture! Oh, Oh man, why did I choose to get this again? This is going to be like torture every month. It's going to be hard just to even change the month. And we have reached December. What does this say? Is this like all the holidays? Yeah. Oh cute, they've got them like by section. But there's only China, United States, Thailand, and Taiwan. But oh well. So yeah, that has been my unboxing of this package and a little rant. So if you stayed with me, thank you for watching. And yeah, I might get around to making that video soon, hopefully. Okay, bye.